so today I'm going to be showing you the Office 2016 preview. The full blooded feature of the new Office should be released by the end of August or uh, early September 2015. But Microsoft has made the preview available. So I'm going to show you a couple of features in PowerPoint, Excel, and Outlook. And then I'm going to show you how you actually get the preview if you want to poke around and try it out. So first thing I'm going to show you is in PowerPoint. Now in all the new Office apps, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, the first thing you'll notice is the quick access toolbar has changed quite a bit. Uh, the icons are a little less colorful and they're a little flatter and this has been done so that all the Office is a little more tablet and touch friendly. So I'm going to show you some of the cool new options we have in the uh, slideshow mode of PowerPoint because that was what really caught my eye. So in the slideshow mode, if we go down to the bottom here, and I'm going to go to the next slide because it's a little easier to see, besides the usual you know, back and forth arrows, uh, we also have uh, laser pointer, pen, and highlighter. So this is a built-in laser pointer that turns the mouse cursor into this laser pointer. We also have a pen, so if you want to actually write something on the slide. Oops, there we go. And also we have a highlighter. Oops, there we go. There. And you can choose the different colors. So for the highlighter, I think I'm going to want to go with a color that's going to show up better on uh, as a contrast. So I'm going to put purple. So you can like highlight. Well, that didn't turn out so good, but you get the idea. So you can highlight various options on the screen. Also available to you is now you can go in and see all the slides at once from the, from the slideshow mode. So you can go back and forth if I wanted to show you another slide. I could go right there. And in here you can actually highlight and zoom in on a particular portion of your slide. So this is nice if you've got charts or numbers. So I'm going to get out of the uh, slideshow mode. There we go. And here it asks me, do you want to keep your ink annotation? So all that scribbling I did, we're going to discard that so it doesn't show up on my slides. So the next thing I want to show you is in Excel. And one of the most interesting things about the new Excel is the different chart, charts that they've got now. So I've just created a very simple little uh, data set for us to work with. And I'm just going to highlight the data set, go to insert, and now you see we've not just got pivot table but recommended pivot tables and then recommended charts. So Excel looks at the data you want to put into a uh, visual format and it says I'm going to recommend some things. So let's just see what they've suggested for us. And they've come up with a clustered column, pi, which would have been my choice for this data set or a clustered bar. I'm going to go with the pie and we'll click OK. And now in our design ribbon, we've got all these options here, but if I click down here, I've got even more. And as I run the mouse over them, you'll see it formats the table. It gives me the preview of all the different options, what it would look like when I turn it into a turn it into a chart. And now I'm going to go file and I'm going to go save as so you can see there we go. By default the new office wants to save to the cloud and in particular your OneDrive. So I'm actually going to go back and just click save. So now we've got our little spreadsheet with its chart and I'm going to show you the new Outlook. So in Outlook, you notice the ribbon is totally minimized to start. That is the default. They actually need the ribbon, you just need to click on it to get it. 
but the only button you've got going is a new email. So I'm going to click that and show you one of the best features in here is that when you go to attach a file, it automatically remembers the last Word or Excel or PowerPoint files you've been working on. So you can see it's remembered the PowerPoint I've just opened and the test spreadsheet I created. So it automatically says, yep, you're going to attach a file. It's probably going to be the last thing you were working on in Office. And it just provides you there. So you don't have to go hunt and find it. Beautiful, beautiful shortcut. So how do you get the new Office? Well, if you want to get the preview, you log into you can either go to the Office 2016 preview page, which is products.office.com, and you can download it. This is if you've like purchased a desktop edition. Or you log into your Office 365 account and you go to the additional installs option. And then you choose Office Preview. By default it'll do the 32-bit. Just be aware if you do this, it is it may you you will experience bugs and some other issues, and it's not really intended for production use at this time. And that's just our little preview.